car could just crash Now I'm just the bill History don't repeat itself, it rhymes 1929 steel Right like Mark Twain Jake Gatsby, I park things Yellow cars, yellow gold like slick brick Still tip on four Everybody, this is Kat Garcia and you're watching The Corporate Diary. Today we are in the beautiful Crew Cafe. Uh, I want to give you a list of my favorite books to read, uh, some of my favorite business books and they have been recommended to me by uh, Forbes from the magazines that I love to read as well as some of my professors, uh, books that I've read throughout my, my time at McGill University and uh, I have found that these books have definitely increased or developed my business acumen. So if you are looking for a good business book or just a book that's going to help you think outside the lines of what you may uh, be used to, these books are great. So let's get started. Okay, I am looking at the selection that I have made for you. We have The Outliers by Malcolm Gladwell. Thinking Fast and Slow by Daniel Kahneman or Kahneman. I do apologize if I mispronounce these names. There is Own the Room by Jen Su and Megan Wilkins. Um, there's also Investing the Last Liberal Art by Robert Hagstrom. So here is, um, well, let's just take a look at The Outliers by Malcolm Gladwell. This is one of my favorite books simply because it's not like your average business book. It talks about things that business people are interested in or just, you know, anybody could be interested in. It's a story of successful people and he breaks down the most successful people we know throughout history and how they have achieved success, not simply because of who they are and at the individual level, like individual traits, but he does point out that sociological factors and society and many other factors like your, your date of birth, um, who you're surrounded by, your opportunities, they, they lead to one success and it's all m mostly sociology related. Uh, another book that I picked up is Thinking Fast and Slow by Daniel Kahneman or Kahneman. <laughs> and, um, this one is, is a tougher read, I would say. It's quite dry. <laughs> so if you're into something that's uh, dry and more theoretical based and numbers based or uh, just breaking down uh, concepts of, of, of thinking, <laughs> if that makes any sense, this is the book for you. It just uh, breaks down systems of thinking and, and how we, how our brains work. Um, yeah, so that's that's a different type of read, but I, I did enjoy it. It's much drier though than The Outliers by Malcolm Gladwell. So um, it's up to you to decide whether this is up, uh, if this is something for you, but I would definitely just give it a try and see what uh, what you think. We also have Own the Room here. This is the third book. Own the Room is more about your stage presence. And this goes back to a lot of the things that I have already, uh, I wrote about in the Forbes article that was published along with Professor Carl Moore. And it's about how in order for you to be a leader and if you're looking to go into business, you need to have, um, you need to develop a, a good sense of yourself so how you present yourself how you speak to an audience how you um, how your body language is and if you can control that and learn to control that uh, it sets you up to be better at what you do and to controlling the room <laughs> uh, it's really applicable to any field really finally um, we have investing. This is one of my favorite books. I, I would have to say that investing, The Last Liberal Art, and Outliers are my two favorites, simply because investing is not so much on finance, but it's connecting the dots and how for you to be a successful business person or like a person in finance, and you, if you wanna be a good investor, you need to take a look at different uh, bodies of knowledge. So if you look at different disciplines like physics, uh, sociology, biology, you have psychology, um, you'll be able to be a better investor and, and thus a, a better off in the long run because you will be able to um, 
to, to make better business decisions. Everything is interconnected and the more uh, general knowledge you have, the better. It goes against the idea that the more specialized you are, the better. And um, that idea that, um, what is it? It's better to be great at one thing than to be good at many. It, it really tries to go against that, which I completely agree with. That's how I've uh, gone about my education. And that is it. I need to go catch my train to the suburbs because I don't live here. And um, yeah, I hope that you guys really enjoyed those books and my resume of why I chose them for you. And, um, and yeah, please subscribe. Please like this video and l let me know in the comment section what you think. Uh, are you going to pick up any of these books? What kind of books do you want to read instead? Podcasts? I can do the same thing for a podcast video. Um, let me know in the, in the comment section below. <laughs> Thanks, guys. <laughs> well, how do you manage that? Saw the opportunity, I I need a hundred bricks on them, hundred blocks. I got a hundred trucks, a hundred cops, uh. Hundred blocks, I need a hundred bricks on them, hundred blocks, uh. Decade of decadence, ill reverence, ill reverence, uh. Decade of decadence, ill reverence, ill reverence.